Hello everyone! Welcome to my first American vlog! Okay, this is a weird first vlog because I am not at Brian's parents' house. I'm at Chris's house. Thank you for having us, Chris. Of course. It's fun time. Because Brian's parents live in a like a small town and we spent the first week there. So we really had like family time, we worked a little bit, stayed at the pool, I'll show you their house, don't worry. But, oh, by the way, there's already a video on their house, but now for the weekend we're at Chris's house because he lives in the city and we're gonna have some fun. But first I wanted to show you something really American, his hat collection. He has so many. And the bats! Like that's so American! Oh my god, and the closet. The closet. I love closets like this, like I don't know, I feel like this is very, very American. But Brian's about to go get a haircut. Say hi. Hello guys. How do you want to cut your hair? Short. But not too short. See you later. Ah, the weather here. Okay, it's really humid and it's hot, but not too hot and I really like it. One thing I've been struggling with a little bit is air conditioning every day, 24-7, night and day. I mean, it helps because you're never hot, but I feel like, I don't know, I don't know, I'm Italian. You know, right? Ran away. And if you don't know, Italians don't really like air conditioning, I don't know why. The barber was Chris's friend, so his shop was really close to Chris's house. We got there very early in the morning, like 9 a.m. And here I met a really cute friend. He was a little bit old, but he was super cute. And then... nothing. We stayed for the haircut. Isn't he handsome? You like it? Yeah. I right. love it. After the barber, we decided to go to a nice cafe and have a coffee with a friend. It was still 10 a.m. and we wanted to have breakfast. Um, if you're Italian, I know that I'm supposed to love espresso and hate American coffee, but I don't. I like American coffee. I love it, actually. So, excited. What do you love? American coffee. Ah, I'm not sure what to say. My favorite. We went to this nice outdoor cafe and I ordered a cinnamon bun so good and so unhealthy it looks delicious i shouldn't but i don't care i'll do it for you guys so you can see it brian got a big blueberry muffin grace you're on camera too jordy what's gucci how's it going dog the cinnamon bun was good, but our friend Jordan came and joined us for breakfast. You like it? Yes. Best coffee I've had in a long time. Really? Really? Even coming from good. Italy? Mm -hmm. Wow, my followers are gonna be disappointed. This is, this is my favorite flavor of coffee, whatever the f*** this is. Taste that shit. I love that. Hey Jordan, so is this your breakfast? This is my breakfast. It's a chicken sandwich with pepper jack cheese and avocados. Breakfast, right? Breakfast. Hello. This is too much of a breakfast. <laughs> yes, it's like lunch. <laughs> Chris is having water. Water. We said goodbye to Jordan because he had to go to work and then we went to a park. Chris wanted to show us the port area and I wanted to look at the squirrels. I really like squirrels and I know it's weird because I get really excited whenever I see a squirrel and I'm like, oh my god, there's a squirrel! But for the people here, a squirrel is like the most common animal, they don't get excited at all. It's like seeing a pigeon, you know? Look how nice it is. So apparently the squirrels in St. Pete are super friendly because they're used to humans and you can feed them. We didn't have nuts that day, but I spent the following two days trying to feed the squirrels. I always had nuts in my car, in Chris's car. And finally, finally in the last day, I did it. I did it! That was like the peak of my weekend in St. Pete. And then just like that, while we were walking, we saw the fin of a dolphin. Down by the volleyball. Sonia's loving the wildlife. There was a dolphin! 
Have right you ever seen here. A dolphin? But not like right here. Like here. It's it's full of people. Why would a dolphin be here? The water doesn't even seem too clear. Guys, that's a cappuccino. Coffee and milk. <laughs> Hey guys, do I look red and sweaty and hot? We opened our neighbor's door and the dog sprinted the hell away and then a dog chase started and usually the dog doesn't run away but this time it went running and guess who was in charge of chasing it? The three amigos. But luckily we got it. Jeez. She's alive. She's well. Thanks to B. Miller's speed and Sosie's guidance. I was about we to say <laughs> We saved the day. I need some cold water, dude. <laughs> We went home, we tried to relax for a little bit, and then we decided to go to the gym. Obviously, no cardio. I feel way better. What's up, guys? We're about to go to the gym. We're trying to lose weight. Are you trying to lose weight? No, but I was speaking as a collective group. Yes. Brian and Sonia are trying to lose weight. Can this stay as my towel on? I thought that's what y'all said. I'm not trying to lose weight, guys. I'm trying to right keep here. my weight. After the gym, we went back home and at this point I feel like we were all so tired and we just ended up chilling for the rest of the afternoon, I had lunch and then we got ready for dinner. Got me lifted, shifted Higher than the ceiling Got me lifted, feeling so giddy Sugar, how you get so fly for dinner, Chris picked the place and I absolutely loved it. We went to a Pokeball restaurant. I know I haven't talked about coronavirus in this vlog because I really but yes, we're I feel like away. I don't want to. But yeah, guys, we're trying to be a little extra careful. So mainly we've been going to outdoor restaurants. Actually, so far only outdoor restaurants. You could order inside, create your Pokeball and eat it outside. I'm a happy girl. Brian had a sort of sushi burrito, like a sushi wrap. And I had a normal Pokeball. It was really good and it was also healthy, so loved it. Chris went to the crib real quick because he wanted to get changed because he's sweating so much. And technically he's from Colorado, maybe that's why. Because, I mean, it's pretty humid, but it's not too, too, too hot. It's pretty hot though. But it's still June. I'm worried about July and end August. End of June, end of June, though. it's peaking. After dinner, we went back to that park by the port because I really, really liked it and I wanted to see the sunset there and then we just went to sleep because we were really tired after that long but fun day. Good morning! Day two in St. Pete. I want to go get coffee. They're looking at me. <laughs> This morning, Chris won't be with us because he is going to take a coronavirus test. But I need my coffee first. Actually, no, I don't need it. I really slept well, but I want it. There's a difference. Good morning. Cute. We were trying to go to a different cafe, but we got lost and we ended up going to the same cafe as the previous day. And I got an iced cappuccino. It was good. Brian loved it and I know why. Okay guys, we are about to shoot an Italian Breeze video, so I'll see you later in like one hour or something. Chris is still out taking his test. Let's hope everything is fine. See ya! After a quick lunch with an omelette and a peanut butter toast, Chris came back and we decided to go to the beach. Not to lay out, but just to check it out. And it was beautiful. It was huge, the sand was really white, and the water was super hot, like a bathtub. The sand is super white. I like white sand. I don't like the sand, to be honest. And I'm already worried like when I want to go back to the car and I need to put on my shoes. But I'm not thinking about it now. I'm just enjoying <laughs> She's just enjoying this with sand. Go, Anyways, girl. I'm happy. We enjoyed our afternoon at the beach. Then we went to a restaurant, a really nice restaurant by the water. Then we went to sleep and the next day, Brian's dad, Jim, he came to pick us up and we went back to Brian's parents' house. It was a really, really nice weekend. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye. I don't like that thing I tried yesterday. I felt like I was going to fall. Yeah, not good at that.